up you guys welcome back to my channel it's Kit Kat here and just like I said in my last video I am posting two videos today because two animators have op uploaded yesterday and this is our second animator which would be Tabs <laughs> now I will say ever since I found out who Tabs is and I've been watching her videos I've been obsessed like this girl keeps stuff real and I love it like I love how pessimistic she is, like, ugh, we mean that. So, she uploaded a video yesterday called Joining a Military Program. Now, me personally, I come from a military family because my dad is a veteran. So, I can only imagine what she got into when she joined the military program, or joining. So I'm guessing she's in the process of that. Also, number 10 in trends. Clap, claps the tabs for that. So, not to keep you guys waiting any longer, let's just get into the video, shall we? As far as I can remember, I was never really involved in any type of school club. Even if I found something interesting in the school catalog, I'd think about it and be like, nah. I'd rather use my free time after school to do absolutely nothing at home. But I decided to give the club list another chance. Art club, guitar club, zombie survival club. Okay, good looks, good looks. Free hug club. Do you just cuddle with people for half an hour every day? Where my hug at? Where's my hug at? Where my hug at? <laughs> what the fuck? I think I was right the first time. A few days later, something else caught my eye. There were mad students walking around school in a military type of uniform. I decided to ask one of them, Is this like a Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts sort of thing? <coughs> Bitch, I don't know, I just joined to add something on my resume. Oh, that ass, is that what this is all about? I ended up walking into the office of that program to find things out <laughs> for myself. There was a lady with a military uniform sitting on her desk. I don't know why, but this suddenly felt like an interrogation. Hello, is there something you need? I'm interested in joining your club. Oh, this isn't a club. This is a whole program called JROTC. We teach young people J leadership, self-confidence, oh. and discipline, which will help you later on in your J career. JROTC! Wow, already sounds a lot more useful than my other classes. This will not take place after school. It will take place during school, which means this will replace one of your classes. Don't let it be gym, don't let it be gym. It will be gym. No, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm part of the J ROTC gang. I joined the class and sure enough, it was different. We have one army instructor and two to three class leaders, which are basically seniors who have stayed in this program for the whole four years. They teach you steps for basic drill information. I couldn't help but get distracted when we had these sessions. And it definitely didn't help being the newest cadet either. Right face, <laughs> left face, <laughs> about face, <laughs> about face, <laughs> hooray, rest, <laughs> present, arms. Uh oh, I know this one. Ah, you didn't get us, Sergeant. You were supposed to call us to attention first. Yeah, Sarge, what you doing? Maybe next time, huh? On Wednesdays, we get to dress like pickles and have inspections. When we have those, we gotta be super proper and make sure to be careful not to act up. Because you gotta part the dress. Part the dress, hold up, is that a thing? Now, hope is a thing. Anyways, we stand in formation and have the higher ranking students start grading us. They grade you based on how well you're groomed, some questions about what we learned this week, and at the end, you gotta shout the company motto as loud as you can. Yeah, have 30 students take turns screaming their guts out. Screw everyone else taking a test next door. Personally, it looked like half these inspectors were either messing with you or trying to intimidate you to death. If one of the stricter guys walked in, we'd all be like, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Morning, Private. Good morning, Cadet Second Lieutenant Organo, ma'am. Ma'am. Sir, I mean, sir. Cadet at ease. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 Cadet, how long have you been here? Two months, sir. Two months. Two months? You could have fooled me. I've spotted more than eight things wrong with your uniform. Eight! There are loose threads hanging out. Your nameplate is upside down. There's dust all over this uniform. You obviously haven't taken this to the cleaners in a long while. You haven't brassed a single thing. There's fingerprints and smudges all over. Look at that pathetic little mustache. Earrings? Really? What are you, an e-boy? Your garrison's just tipped off to the side. You look like a slack job ice cream vendor. Your hair is touching your collar. Might as well have a mullet for crying out loud. 
Absolutely ridiculous. Zero. Let's see if you can make up for your grooming by answering some questions. Yes, sir. And after they ask you three questions, they'll grade you on sounding off your company motto. I personally liked when Thanksgiving rolled around because then things were more chill. And we can make up our own motto. Cadet, attend, shut! Turkey, turkey, you so fine. Turkey, turkey, make you mine. Eat with gravy, eat with ketchup, good with anything. You, you betcha. Who a turkey? Wait, 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 wait. Cadet, run that back. I'm gonna do that again. Cadet, attend, shut. Turkey, turkey, you so fine. Turkey, turkey, make you mine. Eat with gravy, eat with ketchup, go with anything. You, you betcha. Cadet, oregano. First Sergeant Paprika. Sorry, ma'am, I got carried. You got bars. Good job. Next. On Fridays, we would have our own version of gym. AKA PT. Half the time it would be a screaming contest. Extend to the left. March. <laughs> stretching was the easy part, but then after the stretches, oh the class God. leader would say, All right, everyone, we're going to do a mile run. Start with a slow jog around mm -hmm. the track. 99% of the kids hated this part, mainly because we were a bunch of lazy fat ass potatoes, but also because there would always be that one annoying athletic kid who looked like he had too many cocoa puffs this morning going 50 miles per hour. Then everyone starts panicking thinking they gotta keep up and run out of breath within the first minute. Whatever class you go to next, you're screwed because you're gonna be smelly, sweating bullets, and panting like a hot dog. Every other day of the week was a regular class session. You'd learn actual useful things like basic first aid, the effects of smoking and drinking, drugs, conflict, leadership, nutrition, financial management, etc. Oh yeah, and we had presentations like every week. You could talk about whatever you wanted to as long as the army instructor approved it. My favorite presentations were from one kid who talked Man. about Area 51 before it was cool, and this other kid who exposed McDonald's. Now, you should have been there, he just went off. And by the way, the french fries are made out of soap. This oh, one shit. Out. Oh my oh, god, god. god. that food food food. Food. I don't care, I'm still eating it. That shit's hella good. In the coming years, a lot of people quit the program because it was either too hard to keep up with, or they wanted their freedom. While other students get days off, you gotta march parades in the rain or in 90 degree weather. So boxes of cookies to random people every few months. Participate in a lot of different community service activities like washing cars. Or maybe you left because you weren't a fan of all the presentations. Whatever the reason, the suckers missed out on the cool new uniforms. We were also introduced to a lot more savage army instructors. And honestly, some of them could have passed for comedy slash dictatorship. And what are you doing? Huh? Me? Who do you think I'm talking to? I'm looking at you. Why are you chewing gum in my class? I didn't eat breakfast. Bullshit! You think I know who's been sticking gum under the desks? I'm the one cleaning it up. Go spit it out. Whatever, I'm leaving. You, what's your name? Hey, what's his name? I think it's- Ah, useless! I'm gonna call your parents. I don't care, do whatever you want. Enjoy being a high school dropout! What are you all looking at? Get back to work. Yes, Mr. Thyme. Will you just call me? Mr. She might like correctly. Yes, Sergeant Major Thyme! There was one army instructor who looked like the human embodiment of the Grinch. Let's call him Sergeant Garlic. <laughs> I thought Sergeant Garlic was going to be another dictator, but I was wrong. This guy was the definition of laid back, but knowing when to get serious. He had an unapologetic sense of humor everyone loved. For example, whenever he saw me and some of my friends in uniform, he'd say, Oh, it's the North Koreans. And we'd be laughing our asses off. i never seen one person get mad at his jokes. And if they did, he handled it like a boss. One time it was snowing like crazy, and he announced, All right, guys, let's sneak out into the field and have a snowman <laughs> bathing contest. And we were all so hyped for it. You could see people cracking their knuckles and shit, ready to go to Home Depot to buy some shovels. It was beautiful. But the next day, he said that somebody ratted us out to the principal, and suddenly you could feel the bloodthirst in the room. There would be 30 different eyes looking at each other mad sketch, thinking, Who was it? Who's the snitch? And honestly, I was pissed off too. Building snowmen was my thing. In the last year of this program, it was time to prove ourselves and become the class leaders for younger <laughs> students. We have to be the ones yelling and calling them to attention every morning. I'd love to talk about the crazy little kids we have to stay with and instruct for a whole year, but maybe another time, because that's a whole nother story. Overall, j -Rod's C. Great program. 10 out of 10. Not sponsored. Yeah. I actually knew a couple of kids that uh, were in the JROTC program. I actually did know a couple. Um, they wouldn't necessarily tell me stuff about it, but I mean, I was never really interested because I knew damn right that I could not survive in a military program.
I knew damn right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not trying to die. <laughs> but, as always, Tabs ceases to amaze me. If you guys liked watching this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, press subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!